Google, HTC, Meta, Sony, PlayStation. There are plenty of companies that are actively involved in or thinking about exploring the world of VR and the metaverse. Now, whether you think the metaverse is the future or a dystopian nightmare waiting to happen, there's definitely an intensified interest in creating more immersive and compelling experiences for people to enjoy. Not one to be bested in the realm of cutting edge tech, Apple are understandably taking active steps to develop their own VR and metaverse technology. Love them or hate them, Apple is the biggest and most valuable company in the world with a market capitalization of a staggering 2.3 trillion US dollars. It's therefore not a case of if, but when they decide to bring out their own VR tech. Now, of course, Apple didn't just become interested in virtual and augmented reality overnight. In fact, Apple's tech development team has apparently been working on a headset for the last seven years. Now, before I continue, nothing has been formally announced by Apple as yet. So as always, there's a significant amount of speculation going on. For this reason, it's not exactly easy to get all the facts. So today I'm going to do my level best to get rid of all the chaff and bring you the most reliable information that's available right now. To begin, much of the information I'm about to share with you comes from Ming-Chi Kuo, an Apple analyst with over a decade of experience and a highly accurate track record. So unless our man here is losing his touch, most of the information contained in this video should be pretty on point. Now, according to most reports, Apple's VR headset has been dubbed the Reality Pro. Now, from the name alone, I'm pretty sure that most of us can agree that we don't need an analyst to tell us who the headset is for or how much we can realistically expect to pay for it. I suspect that in most cases, you're not going to be buying this headset for casual VR gaming. If anything, the real reason you'd buy the Reality Pro is for its augmented and mixed reality capabilities. When it comes to any Apple device, ease of use and productivity are top of mind. Whether you're a video editor, animator, graphic designer, or developer, the reason you use Apple products is because they feel good to use and make whatever task you're working on easier to accomplish. In keeping with the company's core philosophy and approach to product development, the Reality Pro should make work more enjoyable and intuitive and overall easier to do. But as with all things Apple and the added descriptor of Pro, this thing ain't gonna be cheap. The figures I've seen so far start at $2,000 and go all the way up to $3,000. For the sake of comparison, that's between 4 and 6 times more expensive than a MetaQuest 2. If this headset isn't aimed at professionals and enterprises, then I don't know what is. As for the actual announcement of the Reality Pro, according to Quo, this should happen in spring or at Apple's developer event, which usually takes place in June. Deliveries of the headset should then begin in Q3 of 2023. Okay, I do have to point out that Apple's headset has been delayed several times in the past. The headset was supposed to release in 2019, but then got pushed back to 2020, then 2021, then 2022, and now here we are in 2023. Maybe I'm being a little bit cynical here, but if history is anything to go by, maybe don't buy into the heart just yet. It would definitely be annoying if there were further delays, but it's certainly not impossible. There again, if this particular headset isn't aimed at ordinary consumers, should you really care? Well, yes and no. The success or failure of the Reality Pro will almost certainly have an effect on what Apple decides to develop next. So if you're hoping for a cheaper version of the Reality Pro or the now delayed Apple glasses, then it's probably best that the Reality Pro makes a major splash in the market. As for the exact details surrounding the headset's design, I have to admit that getting concrete information about this is nothing short of a quagmire. From cross-referencing several sources, the general consensus is that the headset will have VR, AR, and mixed reality functionality, and that it is indeed aimed at professionals, developers, and enterprises. Beyond this, it looks like the headset will be fitted with several external cameras and internal sensors in order to read users' hands and eye movements. In other words, unlike other headsets, the Reality Pro won't come with any controllers. This means that just about everything will be done using hand gestures and finger movements. Taking a closer look at everything that's been written about the Reality Pro, I would consider the vast majority of what's left to be nothing more than rumors and speculation. Stuff like being able to use the Reality Pro in conjunction with your Mac seems like a no-brainer, but things like where the battery will be housed, the inclusion of a digital crown, and whether or not Apple has developed its own engine to power VR games all seems like conjecture to me. Actually, a lot of what has been mentioned doesn't sound like Apple at all. Furthermore, if some of the major selling points for the Reality Pro include video watching and immersive FaceTime meetings, then that just seems kind of dumb. At best, these are additional features that are the proverbial cherry on top. If you ask me, Apple's Reality Pro should be a masterclass in innovation and one that showcases the true potential of AI and VR technology. If done right, it could well become the blueprint for future headsets and bring this technology to a wider global audience. That's about all I've got to say for now. What are your thoughts on Apple's Reality Pro? Do you agree with my observations, or do you have an entirely different view on the matter? Be sure to share all your thoughts and opinions in the comments below. As always, please give this video a like and subscribe to the channel so I can keep serving you up hot content on the regular.
From me and the Meta Squad, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Later!